Before we get into this video, guys, if you guys are looking to improve your skills in the sticks, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Fiddle Grips and use Rich at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys, and welcome to yet another updated legend review. I hope you liked my first one in Yari Litmanen. Let me know what you guys thought about that one and this one as well. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments as well. Today we're going to be taking a look at Man United legend Ryan Giggs. Now last time out guys, Ryan Giggs, I had him in the left forward position and I felt like he was kind of stranded out on that left side. So in this video guys, I had him at the uh, left striker position with the left forward, obviously, card. Uh, he's on 7 chem, but that's not actually that bad, really. And I'm not going to lie, guys, Giggs felt more in the game. Now, guys, I'm not going to tell you his end rating after this video, but I will tell you my last video rating, I gave him a 7.5. It was one of the lowest ratings I gave out of all my legends. It just, just was not, excuse me, feeling this card. Um, it had, looks like it has some amazing stats on it, um, but he just in-game didn't feel good for me at first. But in this video, guys, you will see he felt more involved for me, and I thought he played a lot better. Um, but let's go ahead, guys. Take a look at his face card stats really quick. Giggs has 90 pace, 78 shot, 87 passing, 88 dribbling, 41 defense, and 67 physical. The one killer for me is that two-star weak foot. But as you guys can see there, I scored uh, six goals and two assists in six games with him, and those are actually the same exact stats I had for my first video, but like I said, guys, he felt way more involved for me, and you will see that in the highlights. There's a ton of clips where he is just in intricate play, leading up to goals, him himself scoring in goals, being in the right position to tap in goals. He just felt like he was more in the game for me, and that is why he is definitely going to be an upgraded rating, but we'll wait that we'll wait for that till the end. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights, and I'll talk a little bit more about what Ryan Giggs is all about. So we're now going to go ahead, guys, take a look at some highlights. We'll talk a little bit about Giggs this go-around and his pros and cons, what changed uh, for me, for the better, and uh, for bad, I guess. Uh, but for first, guys, let me just say, as you'll see right here, Giggs' best thing for me is his passing and crossing. An amazing cross to Robin for a sick volley goal. Uh, Giggs' crossing is probably my favorite, even though it's not a huge thing on this FIFA crossing isn't as effective as it once was on FIFA, like 14, for example. Uh, it's still a huge part of what Giggs is all about. Now, secondly, guys, obviously pace, 90 pace. He's super, super fast. Um, along with his 88 dribbling rating, guys, uh, Giggs does very well to get past defenders and then dribble in and around them. You'll see he just makes kind of quick cuts to get around these guys, and he's just kind of smooth with the ball, and that is one thing that I really enjoyed about Giggs. Um, the one thing, guys, that kind of stayed the same was that two-star weak foot. It actually it felt a little bit better, I'm not going to lie. I think he scored two goals with his right foot, um, but I would definitely stay on that left foot as much as possible with Ryan Giggs. Now, like I said earlier, guys, I had him in the left forward position in like a 4-3-2-1 formation in my first video, which put him on the left side, and I felt like he was kind of stranded out there. Good for crossing, but not for being overall involved in the game, and having him at left striker definitely changed the way he played for me. He felt way more involved. He felt like he was in position to make things happen, and I just, I just felt like he was more his worth. He was worth... Uh, what he's worth what he was going for, obviously. I mean, you pay a couple hundred K for him, uh, you want him to be productive, and when he's kind of straight out on the left side, he's not going to be able to do that. Um, but in this striker position, guys, he was definitely uh, he was a threat at all times. You can see right there that banging strike, and I just think he was more, he just was worth, uh, it made him more worthwhile, really. Um, and that is what I really enjoyed about Ryan Giggs in this video, and that is why he is going to get an upgraded rating. And we're going to go ahead uh, right now, actually, and take a look at. At that so this is the first summary right here guys uh, this is gonna show uh, a 7.5 is what I gave him and it has both the stats I scored six goals and six uh, assists or excuse me six goals and two assists in each games of the six games played and here we are we're gonna take a look right now at the updated one 8.4 out of 10 not a huge upgrade guys but it's definitely better than a 7.5 point nine points up 8.4 out of 10 is definitely worth your guys' time. Give him a try at that striker position. I think he's definitely worth it. My conclusion is that he felt better. He has great crossing, and he's pacey, obviously. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, let me know who you guys want me to do next. I have Cloyvert coming up, and then I'm going to do Inzaghi, and then I'm going to look to do 
Marco Van Basten. But let me know who else you guys want. As always, feedback is appreciated. If you guys are feeling crazy, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate checking out this review. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. You, you made me